Let us now talk about the heart of reptiles. Reptilian heart is also three chambered, but there is a partial compartmentation of ventricles. And that is why instead of calling it three chambered, we call it three and a half chambered. So in most reptiles, heart is three and a half chamber. Once we draw the structure, we'll understand why we are calling it three and a half. Auricles are completely divided. So there's a left auricle, right auricle. So these two compartments. The third compartment is ventricle. There is no complete separation, but there is an interventricular septum which is formed partially. And that is why it is written as three and a half chamber. But here we have exceptions. In crocodiles, alligators, and gabialis, they have four-chambered heart. That means there's a complete part uh, partitioning of the ventricles. So crocodiles, alligators, and gabialis have four-chambered heart. So this is like higher organisms, that is like birds and mammals. Birds and mammals also have four-chambered heart. But these three reptiles, they have four-chambered heart. Others have three and a half chamber. Now let us talk about the compartments which they have. The compartments are primary, two auricles, left and right, and ventricle, which is not completely divided. About the accessory chambers, Sinus venosus is present but is reduced. Is present but reduced. And the truncus arteriosus which was formed in amphibians is now divided into three main blood vessels. That means there is no truncus arteriosus. So here we will write truncus arteriosus divided into two systemic arches and one pulmonary arch. These are the main arteries or arches in which this truncus arteriosus has divided. That means in case of reptiles, out of two accessory chambers, sinus venosus, one is still there, though reduced. But the second one that is truncus arteriosus is no longer there because it has undergone division. It has divided into three main arteries. So if we are able to recall in fishes, Two main chambers, one auricle, one ventricle, and two accessory chambers, sinus venosus and conus arteriosus. The next step was amphibians. In amphibians, auricle divided, so two auricles, uh, two compartments, left and right. Ventricle is without any partition, so one ventricle, three compartments. Sinus venosus, as it is, conus arteriosus changed into truncus arteriosus. The next evolutionary uh, category are reptiles. In reptiles, sinus venosus, there, uh, reduced. Truncus arteriosus is no longer there. That means out of two accessory chambers, one is there, other is lost. The auricles have completely divided anyways. Ventricle is partially divided. Let us see the diagram of the heart of a typical reptile and we are talking about Three and a half chambered heart. Two auricles and the ventricle. Now, the wall of the auricle, and see, this is the ventricle, and here there is a septum which is formed between the ventricles. And so we have started seeing left and right side.
Let us label these parts. As we said, this side is going to be the right side. So this is right auricle. This is the left auricle. And this is ventricle. And because there is no complete separation, we are not calling it left ventricle and right ventricle. This wall which has developed is known as interventricular septum. And this septum is partially formed. Let us talk about this sinus venosus which is the accessory compartment. It is here but reduced as compared to what we see in case of amphibians. It is but it is still there. So this is sinus venosus. Let us see the circulation and then we'll come to this uh, truncus arteriosus which has divided. This sinus venosus receives deoxygenated blood from the body. So deoxygenated blood comes into the auricle. From here it is going to come into the ventricle. This receives blood from the lungs that means oxygenated blood and again oxygenated blood is going to come here as the partition is not complete again mixing of blood is going to take place the blood which is pumped from the ventricle so this is the wall of the auricle and here was this truncus arteriosus but in case of reptiles, this has divided into three branches. Let us see these three branches. The first branch is coming from this side and it is dividing into two branches. This is the first, we'll label them. And there are two branches arising from here. One branch and the second branch. If you are able to see the direction, as we said, the truncus arteriosus has divided into three branches. The one which we have made in red is actually going to take the blood from mainly from this side, mainly. And we need to understand because if partitioning takes place completely, suppose I draw an imaginary line later on, this is going to divide completely. So, the deoxygenated blood coming into the right auricle would be pumped into this part. We'll start calling it right ventricle. When this pumps, it is going to pump deoxygenated blood. It should go to the lungs. That means this main artery is the pulmonary artery. So this one is pulmonary arch or artery. And then it divides into two so that it can go to the two lungs. The ones which we have drawn in black, they are arising from this part. That means later on when this partitioning is going to get complete, oxygenated blood comes from here. It will come into this compartment. We'll call it left ventricle. When this contracts, it will take oxygenated blood. So oxygenated blood should go through aorta or systemic arches. So these two are the systemic arches. In reptiles, there are two systemic arches. When we come to birds and mammals, we would see there is only one systemic arch. So, let me remove this dotted line here again. So, now what is happening? Deoxygenated blood comes into the right auricle. This deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood. It is pumped into the ventricle. Though most of it is going to come on this side only, what is received by the left auricle is oxygenated blood. And this is going to come here. Still, mixing would take place. The reason is there is no complete separation. So, the Right side blood and left side blood, that is deoxygenated and oxygenated, they would get mixed. And what is coming here is mixed blood. So this has mixed blood. 
and what is going through the pulmonary arch is mixed blood to the lungs what is going to the body parts is again mixed blood through the systemic arches and in case of when we were talking of amphibians we said that the heart which supplies mixed blood is known as atriovenous heart so here also reptilian heart is atriovenous heart and it is also going to show double circulation so it is double circulation heart that means say before the blood is being supplied to any organ it is going to be passing through the heart two times so in case of reptiles most of the reptiles have three and a half now why we are calling it three and a half this is one complete chamber this is one complete chamber two this is the third chamber but the partition the interventricular septum is half formed or slightly more than half but you cannot call it four compartments because this partition is not completely formed and that is why the heart is known as three and a half chamber but in case of these three reptiles that is crocodiles alligators and gavialis the heart is four chamber that means this partition is completely formed and there are two auricles and two ventricles so in case of reptiles out of two accessory chambers one is still there that is sinus venosus though it is reduced but the second one that is truncus arteriosus is lost it is divided into three main arteries one pulmonary and two systemic in case if we talk of this uh, more then this systemic arch is going to come from here it is going to come like this and the other one is going to come from here and these two arches actually join to form the aorta so there are two arches which are coming like this one from the left side the other from the right side and they join here to form the aorta so truncus arteriosus has divided into three branches two systemic and one pulmonary pulmonary later on is dividing into two branches this will go to the left lung and this branch will go to the right lung the blood which is being supplied is mixed blood so the name same atriovenous and it is a double circulation heart so we have seen the heart of fishes also amphibians also and reptiles also now in the next segment we will talk about human heart and we will see how bird's heart is different from human.